Hey everyone, how you doing? My name is Echo and I hope you're having a great day. Today's Minecraft video is a brand new episode of the Minecraft Underground Survival Series. Now I'm having so much fun making these episodes and you guys have been so kind in the comment section. You're all wanting more episodes. I do want to mention guys that I do live stream part of this series on twitch.tv forward slash soldier. Now, don't worry if you can't catch the live streams because the live streams are in preparation for the episodes and there will still be a lot of secrets in the episodes that won't be done during the live streams. So, for example, in the last live stream, a little bit of a spoiler here, uh, I mined out large quantities of land in preparation for today. But before we do that, uh, a quick recap, hopefully you took the time to download episode 10. It was the first official download, and the reason why I give you guys a download so early is because I want to now see what you guys do to the base. We're all different. We all think differently. We all build differently. So I want to see how you would now build your base underground. Remember, it's underground survival. We live underground. And I asked you guys in the, in the comment section, when should I be allowed to go above ground? Everyone was saying, the next 10 episodes. But I'm gonna make it a little bit more challenging. I can't go above ground until episode 30 now. So 20 episodes. So quick recap, last episode was all about the bees. Um, I made this area for the bees, hoping it was gonna be a lot better. So when I did silk touch this, because we did silk touch it, it had bees in. When I brought it down below, it doesn't have any bees in. Now a, a solution what we could do is, if we look at the map real quick, I'm no longer a bit above water, at least I don't think I am, so have a quick look at this. Well, we might be quite tight there, actually. But if we're not above water, we can take this whole entire chunk out and hope that bees are attracted to the flowers down here. It's a big risk to do, though, for the sake of just trying to get myself some bees. We will definitely have to see about that. So before we do anything else, let me go and place down a couple of my saplings because I've been quite productive in getting a couple of things ready for today's episode. You guys are going to be... You guys are going to enjoy today's episode, trust me. So, we got very fortunate in, in my live stream. Hey there, little kitty. You're another- I, you're not my kitty, though, are you? No, you're not my kitty. So, I think- how have you- Surely, I think that, that cat that was in there has somehow spawned down below there. Either way, let's not worry too much. We can tame it on another day. Um, so, I've been very lucky during live streams, and I've been focusing quite a lot on villages. Although we haven't- redesign the villager room. I've been very productive and, and focused on them for today's episode. Um, it feels so good to switch between oak compared to the jungle. So my villagers, uh, villagers are slightly broken in this in case you guys don't know, but you will see we have different variations. So this is, is it Chuck? I don't think it's Chuck. This is a villager that actually trades mending. So on the bedrock version, you are able to break this repeatedly to then switch the trade. Now, he offers mending and I thought, I thought for 18 emeralds, we are 100% going to be taking mending. But we have two mendings and I've already used one. I will show you guys in just a second. Uh, where's Chuck? You're not Chuck. Here's Chuck. So Chuck is our guy that I use to trade with, come on, uh, bookshelves. We're going to need bookshelves in order to make ourselves an enchantment area. Um, so I've been focusing on just doing a bunch of trades. We have this guy, who is a stonemason, who I can happily trade my stone for emeralds. I can happily trade my andesite for emeralds, and we've been doing that. But we have more than one mason, so that's one mason, and this is the other guy. Apart from there's a bug. So whenever you trade with villagers, the first one was 20. When you come back to them, they're more expensive. He's trying to charge me 21. The last time I was trading with this guy, he was charging me 25 stone. So there is a bug. <laughs> you gotta be incredibly careful with those guys. Uh, so I've been focusing on specific villages that we need. This is an armorer. We'll take him as well. We got ourselves a beautiful farmer. This is a toolsmith. Going further down, we're gonna get ourselves some better better trades as well. This guy, th they just do not want to lock onto this. I'm pretty sure it's bugged to a point where it won't trade with these. Now, the way I could do this is probably break all the beds and break all the workstations. But that's not really a priority in today's video, so we'll worry about that in another time. So, with me grinding out a lot of emeralds, right? We've got 33 there. They're spare emeralds. Now, remember, we fished out mending. We fished out a mending book, yes? That was like one of the best things we ever did in, in, in this series. Now, we have a Fortune 2 villager. 
So I grinded two Fortune 2 books, which means today in this video, we're gonna grab ourselves Fortune 3 plus Mending on diamonds. But not only that, <laughs> I've been even busier. We collected all of these ores. Now I'm gonna smelt them all, break them all down, um, and we should double, if not triple, our coal, our, our redstone, and our lapis. Um, and we're gonna get ourselves lots and lots of iron. We've been running out. So, I I'm not- which villager was it? Which villa- was it you? Was it you who trades this? Yeah, he was quite expensive. Fortune 2, 30 emeralds, and a book. Quite expensive, but I don't care. It's definitely been worth it. And you're probably sitting there thinking, surely you don't have enough sugar cane to do this kind of thing, Echo. You're right, we don't. So, what I did on livestream is... <laughs> quickly, I built myself an auto sugar cane farm. So, I can't remember whose tutorial this is, um, but that's an auto chicken farm, and we'll get into that in just a second. So, this is going to be my farming area. So, I mined out all of this. We're going to then take the crops from underground and put them above here today. We're going to get that done. It's just going to be manually farmed for now. Now, I've been using a lot of the sugar cane and transferring it into bread, but it works. I just built this thing on a little bit more of a bigger scale. It's an automatic AFK one. So when I'm AFK fishing, I'm also AFK sugarcane farming. Uh, and getting into this, I think it was Rogue Fox. I think it was. I apologize. I found this bedrock tutorial. Um, and basically, it gives you uh, cooked chicken. That's also a work in progress today. So we're gonna we're gonna focus on the oils first, all right? Because I want to see how much goodies we get today. Then we're gonna focus on the chickens. And I've also I got so much to show you guys today. I'm super excited for today's episode. So let's get rid of let's get rid of all the wood because we do not need to be carrying this. The only reason why I wanted to do this is because I think I want to do some of the flooring design out of oak. First thing we need to do here though is I have to break one, two, and three diamonds. The reason why is because. Of course, I need another iron pick. Darn it, man. I thought we'd, we'd escape the iron stages. All right, let's make ourselves another one of these. Uh, because we're gonna need to make ourselves a diamond pick, right? Now, I don't have enough to do enchanting. But we do have enough to make ourselves our first diamond pick that is gonna be used for large reasons that can now be healed and repaired as well. So if we go to the anvil, this should not be too expensive here. First thing we're gonna have to do is book and book equals fortune three. Now mending, let's take this out first. We need to do this and then this equals fortune three. Plus mending is going to equal fortune and mending. Now we don't quite have Unbreaking. I'm not too worried about that at this stage because we do have an XP farm. So mending plus an XP farm is awesome. So I, I We'll start with the diamonds All right, we need to try and double these diamonds. We need to start skipping the iron stages I'm sick and tired of wasting all my iron um, On pickaxes and stuff like that. So first one produces four Five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Now, that to me is quite successful. <laughs> We're definitely on the up. So, those diamonds can go inside of there. We had ten. I already used three. We mined seven and got sixteen. So, that to me is an absolute perfect start to today's episode. Everyone on, on I left everyone in the live stream on a cliffhanger. They were like, you can't do this to us. You've got to show us how many you get. And I was like, nope, it's for the episode. So we're going to smell all my iron as well. Iron is going to start being used for um, more advanced things now. The main thing I wanted to do was the coal resources. And the reason why um, is because I keep flying through a lot of coal as well. And I know a lot of my villagers, they want coal for trades. So we're going to skip ahead with this part. And, well, we've got a lot of coal. So I want to try and triple it. So, let's get this thing done. Okay, so we're doing the coal first. <laughs> let's get this done. It's... How big is it? I think it's like three or four tiers high. Let's have a quick look. We can probably see it better from this side. I think it's four tiers high, man. This is, this is gonna be a lot of a lot of coal, but I'm excited to see how much it is.
Okay, so we're coming towards the end of this. <laughs> we're gonna have so many resources. Uh, I'm not too worried about the XP right now, and I'll show you guys why, because I've left another secret in today's episode. Um, I've also had a lot of people telling me to kill the cows in order to get the leather. Now, I would love to do that, but since we don't currently have looting, I feel like it's not worth doing that at this moment. For now, I'm just going to focus on doubling, tripling, and just extending as many cows as I can. The two priorities that we should... Oh yeah, by the way, we did have sheep, didn't we? Just want to mention something. There was a despawning bug as well. Not only did I lose sheep, but I lost cows as well. I'm not too disappointed with the sheep. I would have been a little bit more disappointed if I would lost all my cows. Um, but this is how much coal we ended up with. That is a lot of coal. And that, ladies and gentlemen, most certainly makes me happy. Because I'm at a point now where I'm no longer wasting my, my ores. Now, also, my iron is nearly smelted as well. We might have a look. No, we've got no food inside of there. Um, all right, guys. Oh, wait, this has, this has smelted. Let's get my gold smelted. Let's get these broken. 18 and 36. And let's see how much redstone and how much uh, lapis lazuli we end up with. I noticed it, so you guys probably noticed it. That one coal piece <laughs> that I managed to miss. Don't worry about it. Okay, I left it there just to keep you all on your toes. Um, so, yeah, lots and lots and lots of resources. Let's turn all of these into blocks of these, which I seem to put in this inside of the wrong chest. We've also got a slime chunk, by the way, and I can show you guys because I'm going to... We need to go somewhere right now, right? That's all the spare redstone that we have. A lot of lapis. Talking about the lapis lazuli. We're going to take it to a specific place. We have a lot of saplings as well. So that's very helpful. And I guess you can go inside of there. And we got ourselves some apples. I've also been trying to smelt as much stone to try and sell as possible. All right, Lapis, you are all coming with me. But you're probably best off being in as much of... Yeah, so 29 of these. It's going to save a little bit of time. So we're going to take these to the XP farm. So there's something I need to show you guys at the XP farm. Which I don't think I fully showed you all. So, my gold is going to smell. I used a lot of my iron for hoppers. Um, doing the the system. How many apples have we got? I'm saving these for, for gold. In fact, we can turn these into golden apples now. I don't think I necessarily need gold for too much right now. But the more golden apples we have, when we do eventually fight the wither boss, we got them. But that being said though, guys, I got two god apples. Two god apples is, is, is so lucky. I still can't believe we found that. I don't think we get any luckier in this series. Okay, so before we do go to where I need to go, um, I followed a tutorial on how to do a chicken, a chicken one. So basically, this is going to be redesigned. Whenever that grows up, it then dies and all the loot goes inside of there. Whenever they poop an egg, it goes into a hopper and then it automatically dispenses. I think I can show you guys the redstone system. I'll try and leave the tutorial down below. It was specifically built for, for bedrock. Um, you need dispenser, repeaters, hoppers. It was a really simple one, but because I'm not really used to building these, I had to watch a tutorial and I didn't want to have to stop start the tutorial. So I'm going to clean this up a little bit more. And we need to also move a couple more eggs today as well. Um, I've done this. I guess that goes there. And I guess that can go there. You, you don't really get to see the mechanics behind it anyway. So no skipping ahead here. We are going to go back towards my XP farm because I did something really, really sneaky. And it might have been from down here before. So this chunk down here, starting from around about here, is a slime chunk. Now I've had slimes continuously spawn inside of here, but they also typically spawn in this cave as well. What do you guys think? Do you think it's worth mining that section out and having a lot of slimes? I mean, I'm not desperate for a lot of slimes, them spawning in, small, spawning in small abundances is actually quite helpful towards me. I made this little area a lot easier. Um, things might get a little bit loud here, so I apologize. Still need to do an on, on and off system with the lights and stuff. Um, but we have a lot of zombies here now, right? So when I flick this lever, it's going to activate the dispenser, which we have a bucket of water. So all of these zombies are now going to turn into drowned. Now when they die, they obviously start popping off their armor. Um, I've been getting so much stuff. Full, full uh, durability as well. These will eventually be disabled, but I'm tempted to keep some of the gold. The reason why is because gold in the next nether update is going to be a little bit more useful for the piglins. So I'm tempted to save the gold. Or at least the ones that are enchanted smelt down the other ones, which I've already started to do. 
Um, so these guys are gonna shake. We end up with a lot of, lot of things everywhere. Huh? This guy has Smite 3. So I bought four of these and combined four Smite 3s. The outcome was Smite 5. Oh, and here it pops off all, all the stuff. All the stuff is popping off from our villagers. All these guys, dude, it's everywhere, man. So instead of me calling it uh, all smitey, all, instead of it being almighty, I called it all smitey because it has might. And that's where the spare mending book has gone on here. And I'll show you guys in, in a minute why. Dude, we have so many things here. So many things. So what we do now is we happily kill these guys, which makes them into a one shot because whenever the water is activated, it replenishes their health as a drowned. Doesn't matter anyway, because all I do is one-shot them. Now, you guys are telling me to use pistons to crush them. I don't really need to. And this is where I can also repair my, my pick as well. So, today has been such a good day. I feel so happy to show you guys all this stuff. Come on, let's get rid of all of these. So, they're all dead. Here's all the loot that we get. Alright, guys. So, even more tridents as well. I'm going to keep the enchanted stuff. I mean, the more we have, the better it is. The raw flesh will eventually be sold. And my small idea here would be to put you inside of there and smelt that down and put that one inside of there and smelt that down. The rest of these, that I'm keeping them. I don't really know what I'm going to do with leather at this moment in time. But I think it would be a little bit more beneficial if I keep it rather than get rid of it. It's the gold resources that we're kind of starting to struggle on. Anything that's not enchanted, I'm putting in the middle because that's going to be questionable stuff that I do eventually disenchant. I guess I don't even know where to put this stuff, man. Like, I don't even think I've got enough room. So I guess that's non-enchanted. And I guess we could... I, see, I want to keep these just in case. I haven't need them for an emergency reasons. I guess this can also be disenchanted as well. Not disenchanted, but they can be smelted. Get ourselves a couple of these. Alright guys, let's saw my inventory. Then we're heading back. So like I said, everything has been pretty perfect for me. Uh, everything has been as good as it can get. Eventually, when we get this guy to level uh, 3, we can start selling flint for uh, emeralds. And we've got a bunch of that. So I will keep this in one inside of here. And I'm also keeping the smite amending inside of here as well. In fact, Bane of Arthur pods and knockback, I'm just going to keep that on me for now. Now, I'm getting free swords, shovels. And in some cases, axes as well. So I'm, I'm, I'm slowly starting to reduce having to waste my own resources, my own iron resources on making those kind of things. So other than getting this done, which we will eventually get that done via trading. I'm talking about trading. I might as well take these back to our villager because I know he's going to have them. And the more emeralds we have, the better it is. Um, I, the only downside is, guys, you can't have mending plus infinity on your bow unless you fish it out. So that's a little bit of an inconvenience for us. Uh, but let's get into what I wanted to do today, and that's the farming section. That's the, I just wanted to show you guys how productive I've been in this series. And I'm having so much fun on making it. The only downside I have now is everything looks a little bit ugly, right? We need to get a lot of things done. So Mr. Clerky Clerk, I got some goodies for you, my friend. There you go. Although, it's a lot of, uh, a lot of rotten flesh, but not that many emeralds. Not that many at all. So that your paper... There's not really too much trading I need to do. I think it's, I think it's, where is he? It might be you. Yeah, Toolsmith. It's this guy that I want to start trying to do some trading with. I've been buying a bunch of stone pickaxes just to skip ahead. I kind of don't want to waste my resources too much. I mean, I guess we could buy ourselves a couple more emeralds if we really needed to. But it's just, it's not something I'm having to needing to do. Uh, rotten flesh. Wait, can we sell it? I think we can sell this to him too. Yo, dude, there you go, man. Thank you. Nice guy. It's also a good way for me to get XP. So I went from like 50-something levels to 26. But I'm kind of glad because I didn't want to die unexpectedly. I've also got myself a silk touch shovel in case we ever need that as well. So things are good. I'm not using too many diamonds now. I don't think we desperately need diamond armor. Whenever we do need diamond armor, I think a sword is next with uh, looting. And I'm telling you now, these fish are getting bigger and bigger. And I'm just going to harvest this as well. And then we're going to start focusing on the chickens. So, lucky enough, we did end up with chickens, and I've been focusing on them quite a lot by inside of here. I don't know if I can show you. I could probably stand on my crafting ta table and show you guys here. Inside of here, we've got quite a few chickens. I'm going to leave them in there, but they produce eggs. Now, there's no entity cramming on this version of Minecraft, which is the bedrock version. So, we are able to place down as many chickens as we can. Dude, this thing is huge. 
absolutely huge. So this system requires chickens. Now we do already have chickens in here, but the more we have, the more eggs we're gonna get, the more auto chicken we're gonna get. So my aim right now is to get them all inside of here. When they're growing, breed them. And if we do have a struggle, at least we got those other eggs. Those other chickens that will lay eggs as well. And we got these as well. Here we go. So the fact, uh oh, he's escaped. The fact that we don't have entity cramming is a really big thing for us. I can't wait until they introduce it and all my, all farms break. Come on, last last sixteen. Come on. Oh, I don't know where how he is. Okay, I'm just gonna leave him there for now. All right. So forget about those other chickens. So whenever those chickens grow up and die, they auto go inside of here. So we've got to wait for those to grow up, which can take a little bit of time. Um, I'm still a little bit undecided on how I fully want to do this room. It is just going to be manually for now. So I think the first stage is here is we need to kind of dismantle this farm. We do need to dismantle this farm. Everything inside of here needs to be dismantled. I'm still going to keep this as like a an open section because I might turn this into a secondary encampment area back at home. Or something, something else along those lines. I just need to find some form of formation on how I want to do this because this farm was very small, but it's lasted us for quite some time. And that, that does make me happy indeed. So let's just get rid of all of these for now because we're, we're not going to need these. Uh, these seeds can go down here. And we're going to need a lot of grass. But I somewhat want to make the room at least as even as we can. So I think I have been stacking up on as much dirt as we can as well. This area, by the way, guys, is going to be blocked off. And the way for me to get inside of there is going to be here. Because this is going to be somewhat the same level. Rather than me having to jump down every single time. Um, we're still early stages in this series. So we still got a lot of that to do. Uh, where is all my dirt? Alright, we might not. We might need all of this. But then again, we might not need all of this. And... We are going to need some wood. We're probably going to need ourselves some, some stone brick as well for the whole flooring idea. So I still want to be able to move around inside of here without any problem at all. So I think what I will do is I'm going to make this still accessible for me to walk around by two. The same with this. Because otherwise, things will be really awkward for me going... I don't want to stand on crops and destroy my, cro my crops. Let's put this inside of here. The hopper hitbox is a little bit too big for me. Here we go. And the same inside of here as well. Plus, I've not really been using oak, have we? What? I, I think I used oak for the ceiling at my XP farm area, and that was about it. I don't think that's too much of a concern having that like that. It's just so I can get from, from, from around it. Now, I'm tempted to also do the same... Around here, I've used I've used oak in the ceiling, but I've not really used it in the floor. Now, eventually, I will expand this room, I think. But this is most certainly an upgrade compared to what it used to be. Is that all of it gone already? Now, down here, this is still going to be a cave system because this still takes us to the mine shaft. This is the original one. This is where it all began. This is man, we come a very long way. I'll tell you what, though, we will most certainly take that because. You never ever know <clears throat> in a series like this when you are going to need sand. Sand is probably one of those things in this that I'm going to struggle to obtain, especially if I need it for glass bottles or for glass in general, like farms like that. Um, so let's go and grab ourselves a little bit more oak. We will take, I guess, these. Convert all of them into this. And that's another drown, isn't it? Tell you what, I can test my knockback sword on you, buddy. Although Bane of Arthur poops really doesn't do much to this guy. And that goes inside of there. Uh, Nautilus shell. It's treasury for now. I mean, I did take them all to the other location, but... I guess that really isn't happening right now, is it? Oh. Done. Okay. Let's get these placed back down. So, I want to try and make it even. I think coal... Uh, coal? I think wheat and carrots are going to be the main thing. We still don't even have potatoes yet. Now, my biggest worry is how does the water system on Minecraft Bedrock work compared to Java? I mean, because of course, with the, the new aquatic update, you could do things a little bit easier. If I turn these into stairs, I should still be able to walk around them. So if we do it like one, two, three, four, 
one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four. I can still do like, these should still be big enough farm sections. The whole point is so I can saturate it here, right? I don't think I want to make them too wide. I can still walk through with one. So if we do it one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then we do it this way, one, two, three, four, five, this way. So the water source is going to be in the middle. I just don't know if I can use slabs or not. I'm not sure if it's four that water can go across or how far it is. Is that right? One, no, that's four, isn't it? Ah, I just realized I made this a little bit too big. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I mean, for the sake of this, I guess we could just move things over by one. Try and make it even in size. So I don't think it'd be too much of a problem extending that because I will make this bigger as time goes by. So these are all gonna be dirt. And I'm so glad that we kept all the dirt over this time. But tell you what though, although we have dirt, it really is not that much. All right guys, so let's get this filled in. And then I'm gonna have to figure out some form of water system where it doesn't desaturate. Okay, so we're down to the last part here. Um, we're underground as well. So a lighting system is gonna be needed inside of here. So temporary light source is just gonna go around here. The last thing I need is anything desaturating because of the lights. So let's get these things going around here. With expansion, definitely comes a couple of problems. So this is gonna go back a little bit. It's gonna go back by one more. Just so we can access this pathway here of being able to go up and down this small cave system area. So I'm only gonna take this out a little bit. I don't think it's too much of a problem for today's episode. Just, just to somewhat understand where this is going to be. So I don't know if you can waterlog slabs on this version and it'll work. Or anything else like that. I, something tells me I'm not going to be able to waterlog slabs. Plus keep like a light source there. I think if I do slabs it has to be like the bottom layer of slabs. So slabs on the bottom and then water on the top. What about staircases? Alright well first thing is let's get ourselves an infinite water source so we can at least at least work with this and then I can get all the crops saturated so I should have a hoe inside of here it's we're gonna need a, an iron one before we do any of that okay but I want to I want to fill this in first um oops I forgot to place down a couple more torches down here see I feel like the middle one it's it's, it's gonna desaturate because this is quite dark right this is where doing the roof probably would have been a little bit more beneficial oh I think my first chicken just died it did there we go there's our first cooked Cook chicken plus feathers. Sorry, chickens. The more eggs we have, the better it's going to be. So this is where we're at right now. Now, before I do waterlog anything at all, you know what I'm going to do, guys? Save save my iron, right? Let's just make a bunch of... One, two, three. I just want to I just want to do this and see where things might actually desaturate. I don't think the sides are going to be... Any form of... Oh, I thought I voice the diamonds then. That would have been a big problem. I just want to see where things might actually desaturate. So this is definitely a massive upgrade compared to previously. Okay, so it's just come to my my memory of a way we can actually do this without any problems at all. So for one, items aren't going to go in there, but I'm also going to be able to place down a couple of lanterns. We are going to need a couple of oak slabs for this. Um, nothing's necessarily desaturating right now, but. That's not a problem. If we make one, two, three, four, five, six, we're gonna need quite a few of these. Let's just make like a stack in a little bit. Um, and we do, that goes there. We can uh, get two beds with one stone here because we can walk into that. I can place down a torch, but even better, I'm gonna be able to place down some lanterns. So I'm not gonna have to worry about falling in there and then having to jump up and break my crops. And my crop shouldn't fall inside of there. Now if they do in the future, we'll add like a hopper system, but this literally is the best way for me to do this. And this is all where my food sections are gonna be. My automatic farms. Again, we will make automatic farms, but we just needed we just needed to start small. I think I've got a couple of lanterns. If not, we can most certainly go and make some lanterns. Nothing's oh, they're desaturating over there. Are they too far away? Is five too far away? They are too far away. Alright then, so we can have five in the middle. 
And I guess for the sake of it, we can just have four either side. It's not too much of an inconvenience to be totally honest with you. So expanding was my own fault. You guys probably knew about this as well. Oh well. And I know you guys are probably going to say, you should have used slabs in this room. I probably should have used slabs. It's just coming to me now that I've wasted materials. Like a loser. So the first design that we had was the right design. and It <laughs> was the right design anyway. I just realized the reason why the middle's not going to desaturate is because it has water coming from both sides. I always get this wrong. I always think it's four. I always think it's five when technically it's it's four across. That's, that's totally fine with me. Alrighty, let's go and uh, grab ourselves a couple of lanterns. So I'm probably not going to need more than 18 whatsoever. So we'll do one gap, three, four. So a gap of three. One, two, three, place. One, two, three, place. One, two, three, place. One, two. That's going to really trigger me a lot. That's really going to trigger me quite a lot. That is gonna, it's gonna annoy me. But, <laughs> I'm not worrying about now. We'll extend it that way. I think we have bigger problems to worry about than the formation of this. Dude, it, it looks great as well. And I'm able to get back from A to B as well. So these, this is all gonna be filled in, um, I think. And maybe not this section. I might just keep this like wooden, but that section is all gonna be filled in. And do I have a spare? I don't got a spare one. It really bothers me that that's there. More so that there's gravel there as well. But it's starting to stack up there now. Okay, so I'm just waiting, just, just double checking that everything's fine in terms of saturation. I think I might actually be able to get rid of some of these now as well. I guess we'll try and get rid of these. And again, we're just testing all, all areas here. If I can reduce using torches in any situation, I definitely will. Apart from that, like, that's that's staying there. Ugly or not ugly, it's staying there. The lanterns are a really good block to use. I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem. I mean, do I care enough that I guess it can go like this for now? That seems fine. That seems fine. Yeah, it seems totally fine with me. Everything seems okay. Right, I want to clear out my inventory, and I think it's kind of prioritizing what crops I want to have where and how many of them. Like I said, I think I think bread and things like that are, are, are a certainty as well. I've only got one raw salmon. I might have another one inside of here that I didn't cook just yet. We do have these. Let's see if these are going to be enough to catch that other kitty. Little kitty kitty. I'm going to leave my villagers to do their own business. That's a derp tree. Derp trees are quite pleasing in Minecraft. Little kitty. Hey there, little kitty. Come on, little kitty. Shh. Hiya! Not enough. I got one more. I got one more. Kitty, I got one more for you. I promise. This doesn't do it. Then we're going to have to wait. Basically, I'm using the... <laughs> The fish that dropped down, the salmon and the raw fish or the AFK fishing. Come on, little fish. Not a fish, you're a kitty. Kitty? No, okay, well, today's not your day. <laughs> Unless you want some seeds. That's the only other option I've got. Wait, did I take maybe it cooked? Nah, they're not going to take cooked chicken. It's a kitty, you're not going to take this. So, yeah, my villagers have been despawning in some instances, and so have my cows in some instances as well. Farm is looking fresh, though. Might be a little bit on the bigger side, but surely bigger in this situation is going to be a lot better. So we'll take these. I'm going to take all of these. What I'm alone. Um, I'm going to take some of these. Um, I'm just going. To, I'm just going to take them all, right? So I think I have committed myself for the middle to be wheat seeds. That's if we have enough. I think we might have. So. We basically doubled everything. We basically doubled everything. If not tripled everything that was that was down below. I think I'm gonna have enough seeds here. So we're gonna we're gonna start using barrels as well. I feel like I feel like I'm underappreciating barrels in Minecraft. So that's that's all of them done. So no doubt we're gonna end up with a lot of that. Uh, carrots. Yes. Until we have potatoes. These are a great source of being able to sell at the moment for me. Selling these to my good old villagers or villager that we have. Uh, very soon, we're going to work on trying to expand that section. I 
think now before we place down the last ones, how many we got? These. So we're gonna take these, right? Um. So we're gonna do this, and the reason why is I want to make sure this is where the uh, the watermelon grows. And on the outside, um, you know what? We could probably get these down now. I don't think they grow on wood. I think it is just dirt, right? So we need to make a couple more of these. So if we take half of these and turn them all into that. The water alone is good. It's just a good, it's just a good seed, seed to have in Minecraft. Come on. Here we go. Next one. That's good. I'm not sure I want to do pumpkins there. Do I need pumpkins right now? I'm just trying to think. Pumpkin pie is always a good thing. Yeah, I guess, I guess I've not really been using pumpkins, so I guess we'll take these. And they should both grow inwards as well. That'll do for now. In the meantime, we do have beetroots. So, not there. They can go there. And I think I might do them on the other side as well. Nah, I'm not really needing them. Uh... Yeah, we'll keep, we'll keep carrots. These will be replaced. Or I might do half and half. Whenever we do get potatoes, half carrots and half potatoes. I feel like I do have a potato somewhere. Oh, that's like the only one thing. Surely, I don't, I don't think it's down here. It's definitely not going to be down here. Nah, it's not. We have cactus. And if it's going to be anywhere, it might be in the food chest somewhere. No, not quite a potato at this moment. Okay, okay. All right, well, what we can do is we can breed my beautiful cows. Because these guys, right? These guys are beautiful. You guys get to feast as much as you would like to. There we go. More baby cows. And guys, I think we're generally done for today's episode. So, uh, before we do actually do do be done, let's make these. And let's make one, two, th three, four. Probably not going to need four. Um, but yeah, I feel like I feel like these things are definitely underrated barrels That's why this farm became a lot easier So barrels so we'll check change you you can be a barrel Change you you can be a barrel and I guess at the end point here a Barrel there so obviously we can put carrots in that one wheat in that one other things inside of that one And then whatever I need to do inside of there It's just starting to separate things and make things a lot easier for me as well So that can go inside of there with this, although I don't, I don't think we're going to be able to breed those at this moment. The the melons, these can eventually be combined into blocks and then sold as well. And I think just no, we got beetroots down here, haven't we? So I guess we can just put beetroots inside of here. And now everything's been somewhat separated, and that's just a thousand times better and so much easier to work with. So I'm quite proud of this. Obviously, the roofs, the roof, the ceiling. That's that's coming in due course time. They need work, they need progress, but everything seems to be growing. Light does not seem to be a problem at this moment. We've still got a pet bat in here as well. It's been in here for a long time. I haven't actually done any AFK fishing for quite some time either, but we do have this, depth stride and protection. Someone said, put it on your booties. And of course, we've got these things at this moment. But other than that, guys, we're in a, a very, very happy place. So last thing to end today's episode is of course, to place down my chickens inside of here. The more we have, the more food we're gonna have. There's a lot inside of there. And even if entity cramming, even if entity cramming does become a thing, I don't think it's gonna be too much of a problem. It would just kill a select amount of chickens. And ladies and gentlemen, that is done. And we're starting to get ourselves well, eventually, when they poop out more eggs, we'll get ourselves a lot more chicken. In fact, that's our second chicken as well. So it's an AFK. So AFK this, AFK that, AFK fishing if you really needed to. Um, but I hope you guys are enjoying this because I'm having a lot of fun. So guys, take care. Stay beautiful. Follow me on twitch.tv forward slash Echo And I catch you all in the next episode. Bye.